Hey, well here I am working on this 95Z28. Got a problem with the bumper. Car has a few problems. Had an altercation with a guardrail here at one time and it was glued back together by someone. And I can see it's starting to crack back out right here. So I'm starting in with a DA, not really knowing for sure exactly how this should be done. Got a crack right there. So, and we've got stress cracks all through here. So I'm just trying to get through the clear and get to where those cracks come out. They were all across, little spider webs all across the top. Not bad, but I mean, not terribly visible, but there. So I'm just trying to break through the clear across the top of this bumper, and then I have to figure out where to go from there. Okay, I'm going to make this pretty quick. Continuing on with squirting this rear bumper on the Z28 here. I've uh, worked further on the uh, damage at the corner. It took me a while and I've uh, used some of this uh, 3M uh, bumper repair stuff which is kind of an epoxy type stuff and uh, use that and then I use a little spot putty at the end but and then I shot a couple coats of rattle can primer on it and uh, sanded that so I could get it smooth so and then I took my little uh, again I took my little if you've watched my video on my 69 Camaro this little guy and uh, shot some of this plastic adhesion uh, promoter the sim stuff on there uh, just in that area the rest of the bumper still got all the uh, you know coating it's just been scuffed down I just scuffed the clear on the rest of the bumper here so my plan is to uh, uh, just cover it with some sealer I got this uh, RX 4000 sealer here I'm still using all the Sherwin Williams stuff and uh, so uh, and then uh, do the uh, black base coat and clear we'll see how this works out we'll see what we can screw up here okay now it has been uh, 15 minutes since I sprayed that adhesion promoter in that corner just tacking the rest of this off real quick like and uh, And I'm going to go ahead and shoot the sealer on. I got the sealer mixed up, eight to eight to three. Got just a little bit mixed up. Hopefully it'll be enough. Just poured my gun just enough to, to get a, a good coat on here. And then I'm going to let it flash off, and then I'm going to sand it. Then I'll shoot the base coat on. Okay, here we go. I've gone ahead and mixed up uh, some more sealer and I've got a couple real good coats with extra attention being played here at the corners where I worked on it um, and it covered up real nice and it's sitting here drying I think I'm gonna let it dry for a half hour or so and it's looking so good that I think I'm gonna dispense with the sanding part and just move right down into the base coat so I'm just gonna let it dry real good and uh, I'm gonna start shooting the black on the thing Okay, I've waited a half an hour here, and it's like 78 degrees right now, and uh, yeah, my camera battery went dead on me there right when I was starting. As you can see, I've got a, a quick mist coat I put on here, it's tacking up for less than five minutes. It's like 78 degrees out here. It's looking pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and put a medium coat on there now. Well, someday I hope to get this right. I didn't mix up enough. I couldn't get good coverage. I gotta mix up more black now. That's a pain in the ass, man. Alright, now I've mixed up some more paint. I gotta stop doing that. I think that's what got me into a lot of trouble with my 69 when I was trying to paint it. I'm really sorry for that. Also, light. It's hard to see sometimes. Oh, it's running out again.
ran that sucker dry again, man. But I think I got it. I'm gonna take a good hard close look and see. All right, it's dried. It laid down real nice, and then I got good coverage. But then I go to look at this. I, I see all this this trash. Uh, that comes from running out of paint, shooting some shit out of the gun, and and, and shit like that. So. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, don't run out of paint, because that's what's happening here. This crap came out of my gun. So, I'm going to uh, sand it down. It says I have to sand it down and reapply base coat, so I'm still not done. I'll be mixing up some more black. But I can't find my sanding block, so I'm just going to take my 1200 and go at it. So anyway, I say again, don't run out of paint. Mix more paint. I'm just painting the top of the bumper where I sanded it. Just trying to bury that shit in there. I'm gonna get this one spot right here that I bug got in. I tried to dig it out. Anyway, I think that might be it right there. I think that's probably it. Yeah. Okay. And sure enough, I find some little beads of moisture in here uh, after painting this. Even though I blew this off and, and went over it with the hair dryer. So I'm just kind of blowing the things flat. All right, continuing on with how not to paint your damn bumper out in your yard. I've gone ahead and uh, fixed up my clear. In the meantime, another bug has landed on the bumper. Tried to get it off with some tape. It was pretty disastrous. I said to hell with it. It's getting too late in the evening. I'm just going to keep fighting bugs, so I'm going to go for it with the clear now. Okay, we'll let that flash. All right, I'm down to the, the last bit of my clear. I'm gonna shoot the last of it on top of the bumper here so I'll have plenty of color. Plenty of color sand, plenty of clear on here. That's it. Here we are losing the light, but at least it's still 75 degrees out here, even though it's the end of September in Portland. But uh, that's the end of the clear, and uh, that's what we have. We got orange peel. Uh, someday I'd like to know how to minimize that. Somebody, somebody come on, leave a comment. What's the best way to minimize orange peel when you're sh shooting your clear? It's not bad. I'm okay with this. I can sand on that, but still, any tips would be much appreciated by all of us. I've already picked up another bug. While I'm trying to get this first coat dry, I'm going to see if I can grab him. Maybe I can blow him off of there.
good I blew them off got rid of that one I should have tried that with this one over here but instead I got that fucked up thing all right I'm just trying to wait for this to flash off hand slick and then uh, I'm gonna lay down another coat all righty then let's take a look at this now uh, I had to give it up there on Friday night come back here on Monday and do this uh, just ran out of time but uh, I got up in here with my uh, medium my light grade polish using my uh, McGuire's wheel here because I had to get this area here and I left this also I didn't put any of the didn't use the wool pad anywhere around this edge so I'm using that with this I'm in the process now of, of doing that and it's coming out real nice it's coming out real nice and shiny here so I'm liking this a lot it's got to clean the whole mess up then it, I should put the final polish on but I'm not going to do that just yet I'm going to finish up here with this uh, fine grade stuff and wipe her down we got other parts of this car to look at uh, now I did have some uh, I went ahead and sanded down some overspray that was right up in here so I'm going to run the buffer across that but there was some other overspray. Actually, I, I purposefully did that because I got a little crack I was trying to fill in. But uh, I purposefully uh, did that. Um, but in another area over here, I went ahead and took uh, a buddy of mine said if I should use this stuff, which I happen to have. I used this to treat tires, my racing tires with in the past. It's xylol, xylene. I used some of that, just put it on a little bit here, and I was able to rub off some overspray with that stuff. Worked pretty good. A little bit on here. Try to get this little corner area here. Not real quick. All right, let's take a peek at this. We have wiped off all the fine cut. Didn't do the final polish on it, but uh, this is what we have compared to what we had before. Looking good in the hood. Uh, looking good. Looking good in the hood, at any rate. But I, I remembered this little problem down here. I'm going to deal with. There's my ready mix paint. Got a couple other chips here. Been here forever. So we're going to go ahead and get the old uh, matchstick out and do that old trick. Get uh, get my little extra paint here. It's all thinned out. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, it's laying in there real nice. Yeah, see that will that'll be all right. I'm gonna do that with everything. Another thing, don't let these things fall in there, like I just let this one do. Fortunately, I was able to snake my arm in underneath there and uh, uh, get it out, but I got myself pretty well marked up in the process. Last guy that worked on this car didn't bolt his bumper all the way on, so I was able to get this out of there. Yeah, it's good I'm working on these two because both of these things were burned out. Ah, look at that. Voila. Let's put these things together. Okay, there we have it. Done for now. We're starting to lose our summer, so I don't know if I have enough warm weather left to tackle the front of this car, but I need to go up to the front and do the same thing. Perhaps we can do a better job. So, uh, if I do, come on along. I'll put a link right here, and you can click on it, and you can see what damage I do to the front of this poor thing.
Till then, catch you later. Good luck with yours.